The Lord be with you. Thank you for joining us on this December the 2nd here at Christ Our Savior Lutheran Church in Holland, Michigan for the daily meditation based upon the daily reading. Um, today the meditation will be based on the reading from the third chapter of the book of Revelation. So let's, let's pray together and hear the meditation. The meditation is from Irenaeus. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Amen. The prayer of the day for the second day of December. Stir up your power, O Lord, and come and help us by your might, that the sins which weigh us down may be quickly lifted by your grace and mercy. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Again, the meditation for today is based on the reading that you had for today from Revelation, the third chapter. Christ is the key of David. He is the key to his kingdom. He consumed our sins so that he might become that great key to open Eden to us once again. For us he opens and no one can shut. Revelation 3, 7 A writing declared, First of all, believe that there is one God who has established all things and completed them and caused that from that which had no being, all things should come into existence. He contains all things and is himself contained by no one. Malachi, among the prophets, rightly said, Have we not all one Father? Has not one God created us? Malachi 2.10 In accordance with this, too, the apostle says, there is one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. Ephesians 4, 6. Likewise, the Lord says, All things have been handed over to me by my Father. Matthew eleven twenty seven. All things were handed over manifestly by him who made all things. He did not deliver to Christ the things of another, but his own. By the words, all things, it is implied that nothing has been kept back from Christ, and for this reason the same person is the judge of the living and the dead. He who has the key of David, who opens and no one will shut, who shuts and no one opens. Revelation 3, seven. For no one was able, either in heaven or on earth or under the earth, to open the book of the Father or to behold him, with the exception of the Lamb who was slain and who redeemed us with his own blood. He received power over all things from the same God who made all things by the word, and he adorned them by his wisdom when the word became flesh. John 1, 14. Therefore, even as the word of God had sovereignty in the heavens, so also he had sovereignty on the earth. Inasmuch as he was a righteous man, he committed no sin, neither was deceit found in his mouth, 1 Peter 2.22 He was preeminent over those things that are under the earth. He himself, the firstborn from the dead, Colossians 1.18 So that all things might behold their king, and so that the Father's light might meet with and rest upon the flesh of our Lord and come to us from his resplendent flesh, and that, forth, and that thus man might attain immorality, immortality, having been invested with the Father's light. And that comes from one of the church fathers, Irenaeus against heresies. We confess our faith, speaking the words of the Apostles' Creed together. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead, and he ascended into heaven, sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty, and from there he will come to judge both the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.